This is a 1970s Mossman guitar. Now, what's really interesting about this guitar was when I was living in Wyoming, Illinois, one of my father's friends owned a roofing business in Lake Tahoe. And I would go out and I would do sidewall shingling at North Star. I don't have a guitar yet. I save my money, I work all summer long. I drive all night to Denver, Colorado. I get to Denver, Colorado, I go to a guitar store on Broadway. I walk in there and the guy says, you got two choices, buy a Mossman guitar or a Martin D28. I spent probably six hours, go, let me try that one. Let me try that one. Let me try that one. And I went home with my first Mossman guitar. Later, let's fast forward, it's 1980. I'm starting my recording studio. This guy says, I have to have a Mossman Flint Hill special acoustic guitar. And this was my baby. I mean, I wrote all my songs. I did all my stuff, learned my chops on this guitar, this Flint Hill special. He wanted to give me a Neumann U47 FET, straight trade for this guitar. Even then it was probably only worth about $700. We still own that U47 FET, though it is banged up quite a bit. So long story short, I missed my guitar, and then of course I started buying other guitars. I'm in Denver with my best friend James Willie from our band, The Abolitionists. I said, can we stop on Broadway and see if that guitar shop is still there? Boom! We pull in there. Up on the wall is a 1970s Flint Hill Mossman special. I said, bring that thing on down here. And he says, I said, how much? He said, $1,100. I said, here's a check. And I went home with something like the original guitar. You know, it hadn't been worn in. It hadn't been broken in. I think somebody bought it and just put it under their bed. And we've gotten it to the point now. So what makes this guitar special? So the guy, S.L. Mossman, he's in a town called Winfield, Kansas. So Winfield, Kansas is the home of the American Bluegrass Pickers contest, right? And they have a festival there every year. So S.L. Mossman makes these guitars, right? You're pretty classic. You've got your spruce top. This has actually Indian rosewood, right? Some purfling, mahogany neck. So the classic X bracing on a Martin D series or any of these guitars, you have this X bracing. It's a pretty uniform thing. And it's there because you're using heavy duty um, strings, medium gauge and or heavy duty strings. And you know, you're plucking pretty hard with the bluegrass vibe. So S.L. Mossman puts an extra piece of wood here, extra piece of wood here, and an extra piece of wood here. So this is even reinforced, even stronger than a classic X-frame type of dreadnought guitar. So what makes this guitar so special is, is the high end. So the guitar is not as sweet and as mellow as say as a Martin D28, but it's louder, it's brighter, and it's got more bite because S.L. Mossman in Winfield, Kansas, right, he built the guitars in the town where they had the festival. I want to tell you about an artist that worked on this guitar. His name is Rigo Starr. Rigo is from Kenya. So Rigo comes in here to do this African style music, which is very eclectic and everything. And he went through all 14 of our acoustic guitars and he did all of his guitar solos on this. And why? Because he loved the high-end performance of it. It was clear, it broke through. And so, God bless you, Rigo. <laughs> yeah.